Let's go. Yeah. 
We... we got him! Weren't you the one I saw with Shizuku before? <laughs> Nobody asked you to come to my rescue, you know. Wow, what a bitchy thing to say. Uh, well, you did save me from those guys. I appreciate it. Thanks. Aw, how cute. She's trying her hardest to be nice now that I called her out. Oh, shut up. I'm never nice. I mean, yeah, I do appreciate what you just did for me, but I don't want you to ever do it again. Just keep your nose out of this whole synthester business. And that's not a friendly tip. It's a warning. Seriously? What's it to you if we are involved? You don't own us. Besides, you're the one who led those guys right into our laps. Why were they chasing you anyway? Not your business. Though, I do have one more thing to say, and this is a tip. That CEO from Daishi Han Pharmaceuticals you've been seeing? I wouldn't turn my back on her if I were you. Huh? You mean Ms. Kasugai? There you go. One tip, one warning. Make sure you take it all to heart. Hmm. And she's gone. What the hell was that all about, I wonder? I mean, she works for Daishi Han, doesn't she? She's like their poster girl. So why would Daishi Han thugs be chasing her down? Yeah, that's a good idea. Next time she comes into the bar, we'll do exactly that. Anyway, it seems like Rin knows she's a good too, so... Hmm, I guess the game's afoot. We've definitely got plenty to report this time around, so we should get back to Mogra on the double. You saw Rin being chased by Daishihan flunkies? What the hell's that about? That's what we'd like to know. I mean, there has to be a damn good story there. Also, it seems like Rin knows Shizuku. That's... Yes, yes! Enough moping! It's time for a big announcement! Here, you take it too, Shizuku. Please look at these pamphlets, everyone! Akiba Cosplay Fest? I don't understand. Fest? As in festival! There's a big cosplay contest, and everybody is welcome to enter! I understand the concept, but what about it? This year, Akiba Freedom Fighters will transform into Akiba Squad Strip Prism! To put it another way, I signed us up to cosplay SP characters. There are three magical girls in the SP squad, you see. Pink, yellow, and blue. I am dressing as Pinkrism, the pink one. And Toko will be Amberism, the yellow one. Wait, Kati, what are you talking about? I, I never agreed to this. And I would like for the honor of playing the blue magical girl, Saffrism, to fall on you, Shizuku! <gasps> what? I... What? There's no way I can do this. I don't know the first thing about... Striprism. No worries. We can appreciate all 47 episodes of it right now. Oh, I couldn't help it eavesdrop. We should use this Blu-ray box set I just so happen to have in my hands at this very moment. Yes! Very nice, little sister! Now we have everything we need! Do I really need to reiterate that I never agreed to this? 
Oh, hey, I know. If our resident little sister is so into the show, why doesn't she do it instead? I can't. It's physically impossible for me to walk around in public shamelessly pretending to be an anime character. Well, how do you think I feel? Now, now, don't be like that. Let's all try our best to win the competition. Do my objections mean nothing to you? So, I suppose I'm doing this then. And so, let the strip prism screening begin! So... cool. Even though I've already watched the entire series over a hundred times. <sighs> How did I let myself get roped into this? Surely you must know all about SP, right? That's the spirit! You are the picture of an otaku! Now, may I preamble? This is the story of three magical girls who protect the peace of Akiba. Their names are Suzu Toen, Toka Kisumi, and Lily Omi. The show's broadcast stopped three years ago, but there are still many fans today. Please, pay special attention to the outfit changes. Depending on the outfits they're given, each of the girls is able to utilize different powers. A picture is worth a thousand blurbs. You'll understand when you see it. So let's cut the chatter and enjoy the show. I have a bad feeling about this. And that's the end of episode one. So what did you think? Isn't it super duper? It's not bad. But what the hell is the Akiba Fairy Chiodon supposed to be? That's the plushie I always carry around with me. It kind of has the same face as Brotosaurus. Fairies are a type of earth spirit, I presume? In this story, Chiodon is a guardian deity of Akiba. Now settle down, let's continue watching! Wow, can't believe it took 10 episodes before the three of them joined forces. That's a lot slower than I expected. It's an interesting approach, though. Huh? Didn't quite catch that. N never mind, it wasn't important. Ooh, 24 episodes! We've made it to the halfway point! I'd say this calls for a break, wouldn't you? No, no, no! We must keep this tension building all the way to the last episode! I'm fine to keep watching. Don't think. Just feel. Uh... Alright. You win. I'll keep going. It's... it's over. After 18 long hours, it's over. <laughs> Whoa, Shizuku, are you seriously crying? No matter how many times I watch, SP is still a super great show. Except for the last episode. The way the SP girls live their lives, it deeply moved me except for the last episode. I can't imagine watching this and not crying. Except during the last episode. Kati, do you think I can pull it off? Do you think I can be the cute, precocious, penny-pinching blue defender Lily Omi, a.k.a. Saffrism? I think the robe will be in good hands with you, Shizuku. Then I'll do it. I'll do the Saffrism cosplay. Shizuku, are you feeling okay? Your whole character seems to have changed. Ugh, <sighs> fine, fine. I might as well join you guys too. You need an Ambrism, I'll be your damned Ambrism. All right, with that settled, let's get your cosplay started. Each of you write down your measurements and discreetly submit them to me. We're counting on you, little sister. 
We are the unbreakable wall that keeps Akiba safe from harm. We are Akiba Squad Stripperism. Now we three have come together at last. We shall claim our rightful stardom at the Cosplay Fest. Hey, sorry to bust in on you when you seem to be having such a ball. But is anybody here free to do me a solid? Got something I want delivered to a friend of mine who runs a shop on Junk Street. It's this here legendary arcade board, Black Panther. It was hell tracking this thing down. But the guy who runs that shop is on the executive committee for the cosplay fest. And he's willing to waive the entry fee in exchange for this priceless piece of game in history he's been searching for his whole life. So yeah, you should get going.